Good afternoon, class. Oh. Good afternoon, class. Um, Gladys John Daniel from Tanzania, and I'm here to present a uh, Iraq culture. That's my tribe. Iraq, it's a small tribe in Tanzania, and we are coming from, our origin is from Somalia and uh, Ethiopia. We are the Kushite. We speak a Kushite language. Also, we are living in uh, northern Tanzania, mm, Arusha, Karatu, and Manyara. Uh, example of the words in my in my tribe in a Iraq tribe, it's a uh, when you are greeting, you say Saita, then someone replies Sayu, then uh, you say I doma, I do he. Then a boy, he called Garma. Then a girl, Desiri. Then a mother, you call Ai. A grandmother, you call Ama. Then a father, it's Abba. Okay, the, that is how they look like. And we have uh, two, two religious, Muslim and uh, Christian, and they are just, I think, equal. What makes a uh, Iraq culture to be unique? It's uh, first of all, back back then we didn't have the kingship. We ha we was living in a co socialization social life more than the kingship because they they were believing more with that wisdom in wisdom so we have elders <coughs> uh, another thing it's a unit we have a a unit among us example when someone have problem she just or he just have to shout only one word calling ayoda only that one then people they will come and they will help you Another thing, it's uh, what makes us our culture look unique. It's in terms of greeting, women can't touch their hands for the men. Or so when they come, you you are greeting them. The men supposed to say I doma. Then you say you you bend your head. Then they bless you. You say I dori. Then they reply, but not no touching hands between women and men. Another thing which makes our culture look unique in, uh, in terms of the way we speak. We speak from the throat more than, you, you have to speak from here. The way you say uh, Hirak, you have to say that the throat must tell. That's how our uh, houses look like. There are two shorts with the, I don't know how to call it in English. <laughs> There's the ones, yeah. Uh, step of food for the Iraq, it's a uh, quante and a uh, pui. Quante, it's a mix of the, it's a flour mixed with a uh, cassava, cassava, millet, and maize. Then pui, it's a uh, pumpkin leaves. You have to mix it, and quante it have to be like a porridge. It's not like a portion, like real portion. Special clothes. Oh, oh another thing for the food, we we are cooking the food with uh, with those using those pots. You have to cook the food with the pot. Like the way it, it looks like. Because the quante are greens and the other things. Special clothes for the, uh, for the Iraq, we mostly use the beads in our clothes. And um, 
Also, we use animal skin and um, gorori. It, this one is some um, gorori, but in the gorori it has to have uh, beads on top of it to make it unique and look good. Okay, when they are making the um, the clothes, they mix uh, the on top of the animal skin. They put the beads on top of it. The pictures, like you see, that's the animal skin. Then on top of it, you have to put the beads, like the way it shows. Cultural practices and norms. Okay, Iraq. Uh, we have uh, we have so many, but two two major are the tattoos on the face around the necks for the women. You have to put the you have to have uh, tattoos around the necks and face and necks for the women because without that you can't be married. The more you have the tattoos, the more you have the piercing, it shows the beauty of you. So the bread price will be higher more than those who don't have it. Also for the men, they have to pierce their ears and they have to pierce look big, not that small, small like those ones. You have to big, very big around it. That show, show how strength you are. You can, <laughs> you can take it the pain when they remove the skin like that. Uh, another thing, uh, how our culture influenced the business, it's, um, uh, they are dealing mostly with uh, cattle. They are selling cows, goats, and uh, <coughs> milk, sheep, also selling be beads, these ones. Yeah. It's influenced because the, most of the foreigner, they, they got attractive, attract when they look at the beads, the skin of animals, then on top of the skin, different colors of the beads. So, so they got attract to it, so they buy it, and also, uh, we are doing agriculture. We are farming the sunflowers and also the flowers, so it gives us the profit from our culture. Mm. Song and dancing. <laughs> song and dancing. We have uh, two types of song eh? songs. One is called Mori. Mori, this is they are they are singing mostly when they are celebrating the, when they are undergo circumcision for the boys. Uh, they sing with uh, the powerness. They have to jump on top like they give the they what <laughs> English is a problem. <laughs> yes, yeah. They, it gives the it gives power to the boy young boys who are who are they are going <laughs> for the circumcision. You can see the way they are jumping. Eh? <laughs> That's just a little because they are just foreigners who want to watch it. But when it's a real celebration, they really jump. <laughs> dance that. that that dance belongs to the men most women and uh, they have uh, another one it's called our harusi it's mostly for the celebration maybe for the weddings any any celebration which is a good a good celebration i i couldn't find the song the like i told you it's a very small tribe so the it, you can't get there in the Mindawat. 
in the YouTube. But they are dancing like this. The women, they have to dance with their, their shoulders and their head. It's, you have to dance like this. Yeah. And then differences that make, make up Iraq. Uh, back then we had, we had one called uh, Mangati. Mangati, they are like uh, Iraqs, but they, when during we are moving, 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 then they move and they form the two groups, the, tog, the Togas and Barbags. We are now different because of their, of, of one thing, their language. They mix the Kushites and Nilots, not only the Kushites, but for us Iraqs, we, Iraqs, we, we speak Kush, flu, fluent Kushites, then, but them they mix the nylons. So when we speak, them they can understand us, but us we can't understand all of their words. You can see we resemble even the tattoos, everything we resemble, but it's expect the that one. Uh, the last thing I have to have this. thing is uh, the difference between uh, Uganda culture and uh, Tanzanian culture. For us, we have so many different in terms of food. Tanzanians, Tanzanian, Tanzanian people, they love uh, spicy food more than the non-spicy. But here in Uganda, what I realize, uh, mostly they cook their food without spicy, yeah. That's another thing, and uh, another thing, ah, another thing. <laughs> in Tanzania, we don't eat matoke more. We eat uh, rice more than, and also posho. And uh, here, when you someone eats posho, you look uh, like you come from the poor family. Posho with those small, 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 small fish. You look like you, have, you come from the poor family. But in Tanzania, it's just, a normal food, even the rich people, they can eat because it's just a traditional. People like posho and those fish, and also pilau and biryani. In terms of clothes, uh, in Tanzania nowadays, uh, we have uh, the Islamic dress code. It takes over, like the way I'm dressing here. It's it is a dress code for the Islamic people. You know in Tanzania we have two parts. We have a uh, land part and the uh, ocean part. The land part they call themselves a uh, Tanganyika. The ocean part they call themselves a uh, Pwani. So nowadays uh, these ones are more free. You can use, you can wear it anywhere. It has markets. So that's why the dress code changed. We put more on this. Uh, dancing, we have a, a dance called Singeli. I'm sure you heard Singeli. If they are just shaking, shaking their palms. <laughs> That's a Tanzanian, <laughs> Tanzanian <laughs> dancing. You can't find the song without shaking, shaking the palms, even there. And we also we have a tarabs, you have to walk like this with my lady singing, you have to be called Marengo because you're a woman, you have to show that say, hey, you're beautiful. Another thing, language. In Tanzania, we have uh, we have like one hundred and twenty-five tribes, different tribes. So that's why you have one language which will identify us, which is Kiswahili. If you are a Tanzanian, you have to speak Kiswahili because uh, that's it's one thing which people, they can understand you because we have so many tribes and we intermarriage a lot. So the culture for the tribe, it has been disappeared. Like me, I don't know how to speak because uh, we speak a lot of Kiswahili. Even at home, your grandmother will speak with you Kiswahili, your father, mother, so that's one makes the difference between us. That's all I had. Thank you.